Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball Card Breaks. Today we have another edition of Quick Hits, where we try to find the best card we can in under five minutes. And we have ourselves another Fairfield Baseball. Uh, we've had a little bit of luck. to say the odds is, are uh, one in eight of containing a hit. And, uh, I don't know, we've um, had one hit so far. It was a autograph of some minor leaguer that wasn't uh, all that exciting, but I, I'll never turn down an autograph. I'll never turn down a, a relic card. And so it's part of the gamble uh, of, of throwing away $6, which is you know, not that big of a deal, but um, you, know, you throw away six bucks, you hope you find something uh, of minimal value at least. Uh, so we'll see what we have here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's an opening day. <laughs> Okay, well, so our pack that's in the box is a 2021 Topps opening day. So this must be a very new edition. Um, and, of course, I, I think we would, we would all agree that uh, opening days probably um, holds the least value of any of the uh, Topps um, sets. But we'll take a look. You never know. Uh, it says right here, packs with a special insert may contain only two to five cards. Feels like there could be five cards in there. Um, we're gonna turn it sideways, see if anything else might be in there. I don't see a, a relic card at least. So why don't we get to cracking? Um, if you, <laughs> I don't know. I I enjoy opening these just for the, um, you know, the nostalgia part of it. And it seems like a lot of viewers enjoy uh, watching these videos as well. So I actually have a um, special playlist on my uh, main page where you can look at all of the Fairfield uh, videos that we've done here. And um, there's football, of course, uh, baseball as well. And uh, also I have a Reddit page where you can uh, load your videos up and um, or show me the best cards that you've pulled from these packs. So feel free to check that out. If you know how Reddit works, you just do a backslash um, Brainiac Fairfield. Look at Larry Anderson was once traded for Jeff Bagwell. That's why he's wearing Houston there. He went to Boston, and Bags went to the Astros. Flip it over here for Jim Acker. Flip for Gerald Perry. We have Mike Marshall. Not the Mike Marshall that just passed away. This is uh, Mike Marshall, first baseman. For the Dodgers, Mike Marshall was the other. The pitcher was a closer for the um, Dodgers. He won a Cy Young and still holds the record for 106 games pitched in a season. Insane. Andy McGaffigan. We have Jim Presley of the 1990. Um, Donruss. There's Jose De Jesus. We have Kevin Bass. We have Rick Aguilera. We're going to keep flipping. Here we go. Uh, Mike Morgan of the Mariners and Kurt Stillwell. I believe this is 88 Fleer. And so, I mean, these are some of the worst cards you can possibly get um, from the Junk Wax era. Here's BJ Surhoff. We like him. Tom Candiotti. I thought his name was the nickname was the Candyman, but it was actually Cotton Candy. Cotton Candiotti. Uh, I just learned that the other day, doing a little research on him for my um, 1981 Detroit Tigers season replay that I'm doing. This Mark Grant. He also won a Cy Young Award as a closer for the Padres or the Giants. Tom Filer of the Brew Crew. Hey, there's a Hall of Famer. It's Frank Robinson uh, as a manager of the Orioles. That deserves a little something. I mean, I doubt we'll get too many... Uh, Hall of Famers in this, and if we do, how many would be better than the great uh, Frank Robinson? I don't know. There's Bruce Ruffin, Bruce Ruffin, whose um, son played for the Tigers in the minor leagues. Ken Daly, we're going to flip for Bob Forsh. Bob Brower, back-to-back -back Bob. Here's another Hall of Famer. Barry Larkin in the 92 score. We'll just put that over there. Hey, there's an, this is actually a really cool looking card. No score, Hall of Famer. This is uh, Wade Boggs. Once drank 42 beers on a plane trip. I think it was from 
uh, where was it from? Tampa to Boston? I can't remember now. Uh, but uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia did a um, an episode about that, uh, about the drinking 42 beers. And they all bought white uh, T-shirts and they were making little check marks on their T-shirts after each beer that they finished. Um, it was a very, very funny episode. Uh, Charles Hudson flipping for Neil Heaton. Reverse flipping for John Cerruti of the Blue Jays. Hey, Mike Heath from my Tigers. Carney Lansford, 1981 uh, American League batting champion at the time for Boston. Charlie Huff, opening day uh, inaugural year for the Miami Marlins, Florida Marlins, I guess they were then. Zane Smith, Mark Davidson, Jeff Calhoun, Joe McGrain. He is the announcer for the Rays, or at least he was. Maybe um, he could be. Um, uh, he could be uh, doing um, the MLB Network now. I think Danny Cox. Flipping back for Ken Hill, original Detroit Tiger draft pick. Danny Jackson, Gerald Perry, Willie Frazier. Flip for Kevin Tappany, Mark Portugal, Greg Briley. Not a lot here to get excited about, folks. Wally Backman, I had a beer with him once at a uh, Applebee's in Las Vegas where he was the manager of... Um, the uh, Las Vegas 51s, Area 51s, and he was a manager there and had a little drink with him. Nice guy. Um, Bob Tewksbury, Jim Vatcher, Bobby Witt Sr., son playing shortstop for the Royals. His cards have a lot of value, um, Bobby Witt Jr. Jim Fergozzi, manager of the Sox, Mark Parent. Chris Spire, got a Cubs leaders. Terry Pendleton, one-time National League MVP. Wally World, Wally Joyner. Gosh, these cards are horrible. We do have uh, Roger Clemens um, in this, what is it, 91 Leaf. Uh, we'll put it in a good pile, but that can't be worth more than a buck, right? If that... There's one gone. Uh, what is that? A... Does that say rookie? What? Is this a Juan Gonzalez rookie card? It is a Juan Gonzalez rookie card. Falls just short of the Hall of Fame. Might we get some consideration in the future. I'll put that in the good pile. I don't think I actually have that card. Um, so, why not? Ken Patterson, Mike Fitzgerald, Mike Greenwell, Scott Gereltz, Flip. Oh, these cards are brutal, though. Andy McGaffigan. John Davis, Alvin Davis, no relation, I don't think. Uh, that's a nice looking card, though. I always love the Mariners blue. Flipping for Kevin Bass. Flipping one more time for Joe Orsalak. Chris Nabholtz. Larry Anderson, once again. So here's Anderson in the Boston uniform. And we started off with Anderson in the Houston uh, uniform, so... M -m -m Mookie Wilson. I almost said Mookie uh, Betts. You son of a bitch. If you follow my channel, you know why I said that there. Uh, Dave Hansen. Oh, what? Get out of here. Look at this, folks. We actually got an autograph, a rookie autograph. Of Brandon Drury, who I believe is on Toronto or the Yankees now. Holy cow, that is easily the best card I've ever pulled. Um, I picked this box up at my local Walgreens. And these are always available there now. Um, and they had tons of these. And they're all locked up in a case. It's a little bit thicker card of this Topps Chrome rookie. And uh, at any rate... Um, I just uh, had to have a guy open it up for me, and boom, there it was. There's the um, autograph. That's awesome. 
by far the best one I've ever pulled. Uh, I was Dave Martinez, currently the manager of the Nationals. Uh, let's get refocused. I'm so excited here. Uh, as Jamie Moyer pitched until he was 102 years old. Dave Stewart, one-time uh, Cy Young Award winner, I believe. Also was the Diamondbacks GM and just destroyed that team. Along with Tony La Russa, they were co GMs, I believe, or something like that. Chris Carpenter. We have uh, Indians team checklist. We have Eric Fetty, I believe, still in the rotation for the Nationals. I like him. Here is uh, Steve Shisick, closer one time, closer for the uh, Marlins. Mike Miner, and a, a Washington Nationals team card. Looking at Nationals Park there, pretty sweet. Holy cow, well, we still have the pack to open. Um, man, what a great pull that was. Um, that totally blows my mind. Um, so let's see what we have here in the opening day, 2021. I'd never buy these um, individually in packs or in boxes um, because I just I know they don't have a lot of value. But you never know. We might pull a Alec Bohm in here. Here is a, a future star of Dustin May who just went on the DL, or the IL, I guess they call it, right? And um, hopefully he won't, I don't know, I can't remember if he has a, a, a UCL injury or not. There's Ian Anderson rookie card. That's nice. We have Charlie Blackman. We like him. Oh, no. We have Billy the Marlin. Um, a mascot card. All right, I'm, I'm an idiot, but I, li I like that card. That's, that'll definitely go in the PC. All right, we're going to flip it back for Bryce Harper. It's got a nice head lettuce there. We have uh, Mike Clevenger. Talk about lettuce. His uh, He's missing the whole season. We're going to finish it up with Nick Castellanos leading the uh, all of baseball, actually, right now in batting average. Pretty impressive. Two former Tigers right there, Castellanos. And uh, Suarez, um, both of whom we really could use. So that's it. Look at this, guys. We pulled a Brandon Drury rookie autograph in this $6 box of usually what I would consider to be just cards to be thrown right in the garbage. But uh, we nailed it on this one. So I appreciate everyone uh, following along. Like and subscribe right up over here in that corner. And... Uh, We'll be back later this week with some more great card breaks. Until then, everyone, have a great night.